This is what happens when there is a ginormous majority. Because we are in a position as opposition members right now that we can do or bring no issue to the floor or to a committee without the approval of a, of a government Tory majority. Nothing. We can do nothing. We can't get an agenda, on the is an agenda up on the issue. We can't get something in front of a committee. Nothing. So when you have majorities like this, the government has the power to be able to move forward and indeed make a declaration like the Premier did, that it, this was going to happen. And then, sure enough, it happens. You know, can we directly prove that this all happened as a result of the Premier saying it? Well, no because they will say, oh, they, each and every one of them made this decision independently. But we know this isn't true. I've sat on these committees for 18 years. I see people come into the room with scripts that are written for them by the minister's staff that tells them exactly what to say, word by word. How is that independence? It's not magical how they all come up with that on their own. Um, so I... I, it's a miracle. I, I, I mean, I think this is contempt. I think it's contempt and disrespect for the parliamentary process. But unfortunately, it is all completely legit. Uh, it is uh, legitimate under the letter of our law, under our parliamentary process. That doesn't make it the intent of it right. And I don't think the intent is being followed. Uh, I mean, um, members of the government like to get up and say, oh, it was made by an all-party committee, as though all parties agreed in this. Well, no, there was one member of one opposition and one member of another opposition and nine members of the government caucus. So what was this really? It was a government caucus decision. And it's going to be really important in this upcoming election that we end up with uh, a lot of people in the opposition. Because right now there's uh, 15 of us trying to, 14 of us trying to do the work that a few years ago was done by 30 members and the accompanying staff, uh, and it's a struggle for us to try and keep this government accountable. But I, I thank my colleagues for bringing this issue up uh, and for uh, making the effort to look up, of all, uh, look up all the detailed uh, references. I, I am afraid you will be sadly disappointed, uh, and and that's why because we have a very uneven house at this point in time. Thank you.